guys live here with pro play games at YCS Anaheim with what's your name bro Blake Meyer and what'd you do today uh, I finished uh, 14th overall lost in first round of top cut top 32 uh, okay cool nice yeah. let's check out the deck cool uh, first off two maxi pretty you know, good card uh, three prints also pretty standard diva of course uh, landing lineup double dragoons double marksman double heavy kind of a standard lineup how did you like that? Uh, I know some of our players were playing water and they played one and one. Uh, did you feel like there was too many or? Uh, occasionally I draw like double heavy infantry and I feel like that was pretty bad. But uh, I think for the most part I like two and two. Just being able to like pop another card with Prince if it survives, you know, the next turn or something is always super, super useful. So I like two. I might cut this down to one and leave the two marksmen, but okay, cool. Know, kind of a marginal change. Uh, for the little mermails, I only played three. I played one gun, one turge, one pike. They're, they're like kind of combo pieces, so it's kind of like good to search them and be able to use them, but you don't want to draw a ton of them in your opening hand. You want to draw the Prince more than anything. Uh, and then one Aqua Spirit kind of along the same lines. If you draw it, it's good, but multiples is kind of bad. So you didn't really focus on the level four as much? Uh, not really. I mean, okay. yeah, I, I made the deck to go second just because everybody else wants to go first. So you, you know, win every die roll basically was the, was the logic. And yeah, it turned out okay. Um, three Teus, three Megalo. Super Teus is three of automatically. Some people I see are cutting Megalo down, but I like playing three Megalo because if you draw the one, you can search like another combo piece with the Prince off of your Dragoon. So I don't know, kind of extends your plays a little more. Uh, one Moulin, uh, three Gamma Seal, just because monster removal right now, super strong. Um, one Dark Hole and one Regeki. My, my thinking on the Dark Hole was that I was always going to go second, so if I drew it in my opening hand. It's pretty much the same as Regeki, so I don't know. Two two mass removal cards was I felt was good. Uh, Soul Charge. This card won me like probably five games this weekend. <laughs> Super broken. Kept drawing it like like really opportune times. So I don't know. It's it kind of dumb. Uh, three more of greed. Okay, this is kind of new. Um, right. how, what did you like about this card? What didn't you like about this card? Um, how did it do for you? Most of the time, it was super good. Uh, you like if you draw goofy cards that are like not very good in a situation like. You draw a Gamma Seal and you like don't need to get rid of a monster. You can just more of greed, like put it back and I don't know, hopefully draw something better. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I don't know. I might cut it to two, but three's kind of cool. Also, also if you draw like the the level with the small mermails and you like can search them with a taste, you can just put it back to hopefully draw one of your like power spells, like an instant fusion or something, because you know you can just search it later. So get rid of dead cards. Okay, cool. Um, it was only dead like probably once the whole weekend. Uh, Three instant fusion because like with Noden it's just like a plus four. It's really dumb. Uh, two twin twisters, which like to me was kind of perfect. I like drew them when I needed them, and I didn't draw them when I didn't need them. It's, I don't know, just kind of lucky that way. <laughs> but you could get by with playing like anywhere from three to zero of this, I think. Uh, one for one. This card also just like Soul Charge. I drew way too often. Uh, mm -hmm. Super good. And then the Abyss Scale. Just to pump the Megalo because getting over. Is that thousand. the one that negates spells? Yeah. Okay. Spell one. And then one upstart because you want to draw that prince. Uh, extra deck. First card, uh, Tatsunoku. Uh, good synchro. Uh, <laughs> this new Quistron. Uh, okay, what, what is this guy doing? Quistron, Quandox. He's, he's basically. And why did you use him? Uh, his effect is just like a formula synchron, so sometimes you can set up like a Trishula play on your opponent's turn. I don't know. It's kind of good. And if you open a one for one and a water monster, if you play this card, it's a Bahama Shark Toad and a Moulin Glacier. Because you pitch the water for one for one, summon Prince, dump a Goon, search a Diva and a Dragoons with Prince, and then you normal the Diva, summon a Heavy Infantry, use the extra normal summon to normal your Dragoons, and then sink the Diva and a Heavy Infantry for this guy, and then overlay the Dragoons in this for a Bahama Shark. Detach the um, Dragoons. For a toad, search Moulin Glacier, and then you have five, and that's like, you know what I mean, with two cards, it's really dumb. Yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah. Um, and it's a tuner. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty cool. And the, like, the formula synchron play is kind of cool. You can, like, instant fusion it back and do cool stuff. Uh, Coral Dragon, this card is really good at just clearing out back row. I don't know. Sets off all your Atlanteans, too. The Moonlight Rose Dragon, because this card's stupid with Kaijus, because you can just, you know, give them a Kaiju and then summon this and bounce it back, back and do it again. It's really ridiculous. Um, and then Trishula. Because it's, Trishula, it's, yeah, Trishula. it's, uh, it's super good with Tatsunoku because you get so many threes in your hand. Like, you know what I mean, this and a three, and then one in your hand, you can just make a Trishula. Super cool. Uh, Leo, this card is really good, especially against uh, Paleozoic. 
because they make that XE that targets and pops stuff, and they, you know what I mean, you just don't enter your battle phase and they can't take get rid of it, and it's hard for them to attack over it too. So this card was good. I almost didn't play it, but I'm glad I did. Uh, Noden, just because Noden's Noden. Uh, Draco Sack. I only used this once, but when I did, it was super good. Uh, Gaios, pretty standard. Just one Bahamut Shark. In hindsight, I'd probably play two of this and not play 101 because I didn't use this at all, but having such a big like XEs and then also with the Toad is dumb, so. Yeah, I probably upped that to two. 101. Yeah, two is really good. Yeah, yeah. 101 I didn't use at all. Uh, I don't know. Probably be the second Bahama. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Cool. Dweller just because it, you know, super versatile. Pumps are attack, super good. Turns off great effects, obviously. Uh, not too much to say. Two Toads. Because Toad is dumb. Yeah. And my my secret uh, crazy tech, the armor. Oh cap man, here. the armor camo. Okay, <laughs> we have seen this card before, but for those who haven't, uh, what what does this exactly do for the deck? Um, it's got a couple uses. Uh, you can actually like summon it without shark, which is kind of cool. With like a heavy infantry and a diva or two heavies, whatever. Um, it's effective. You like when it's targeted for an attack, you can discard a card. So like it sets off all your lands. You can interrupt your plays. Uh, and it, I don't know, detaching sets off your heavy infantry, so you can pop an extra card sometimes. And then, and then if you if you Bahamut Shark, and then you activate the effect, and they like uh, Winter Cherries your Toad, you still have something to bring out, so you don't go totally minus. And you can still detach your Dragoons for effect, you know what I'm saying? If they uh, do the Ghost Reaper on the Summon of the Shark, so, I don't know. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see the side deck. All right. The side deck, I think, uh, the cards are either super strong or like didn't do anything at all. Uh, so the DD Crow, I felt like this card was really lackluster. I don't know, I hit like a Paleozoic Trap, but like hitting one doesn't really stop them that much, so. I don't know if I'd play those again, but maybe. Uh, two Flying C, I kind of feel the same way I do about this card as I do about the Crow. It's like kind of good, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, two System Down, just for ABC. Just because if you go second and draw this, it's kind of hard to lose, right? Now. Yeah. Uh, just one Chalice. I, I thought about maining this card for a long time, and I probably would, just because I built the deck to go second. Yeah, a lot of our players were playing that card yeah. also. In the sideboard, some of them were maining it, but yeah, yeah. definitely a good so I, th card. I think if I was going to change the list, yeah, I'd probably throw one of these in the main and then probably side either one or two mm -hmm. extra. Um, third Twin Twisters, just for heavy back row, Paleozoics, etc. Um, three Anti Spell. This card was like insane against Metal Flow. Yeah, yeah auto like, one pretty much. Yeah, yeah. You just flip it over and <laughs> watch really them not play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, emptiness, just for when I go first, I usually side it in almost against everything. Uh, and then three Strike. How, how was that? that that's uh, kind of weird. Actually pretty good. Yeah. It, uh, like against Metal Foe, going first I tied in like maybe two of these and then three anti-spell and one match in particular. I flipped the anti-spell standby phase and then he chained the quick play to bring out Mithrilium and then, you know what I mean, target the two to try and bounce the anti-spell, but mm -hmm. I had the strike set so that was, I don't know, super helpful. Yeah, people definitely won't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like in you set one, they think it's a bluff, they side out all yeah. their removal, so you're like fairly certain this is going to resolve. But, All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for the deck profile, man. Congrats again on the top with the unique deck. Uh, see you around, man. Thanks for watching.